Alright guys, welcome to this another video. In today's video, we'll be looking at the concept of simple interest and want to know how does simple interest work? Alright, so let's say we invested some money in the bank. Alright, so we invested some money in the bank. What if we invest, let's say we invest $5,000. Now, let's say after we invest this money, the bank told us that we'll be getting a simple interest rate of 7% annually for three years. All right, so the time there would actually be three years. Now, what does this mean for me who have invested the money? Now, let's see how this works. Now, how much interest will I gain over that three year period? Now, the first question to ask is how much interest will I be gaining at the end of each year? Now, the thing about simple interest, the interest is only applied to your initial investment. It is not applied to the amount of money that you have in the bank at the end of each year. It's only applied to your initial investment, which is the $5,000 right here. All right, so the simple interest, and I'm just going to shorten simple interest here. So S for simple, I for interest, and the simple interest for year one would be equal to, now if we want to know the amount of interest that we'll be getting at the end of each year, we have to look at the interest rate. Now what this is telling us is that our interest will actually be 7% of our investment, all right? Which means 7%, 7% is the same thing as seven out of 100, and our investment was what five thousand dollars now five thousand is the same thing as five thousand over one and now we can find the product of these two fractions right here and when we are multiplying fractions we simply multiply numerators times numerators and denominators times denominator all right so seven times five thousand that will give us thirty five thousand all over 100 times 1 which is a hundred and if we divide 35,000 by 100 that will give us $350 so in other words we'll obtain $350 at the end of the first year and not only the first year this is the same interest that we'll be getting at the end of each year because that is basically how simple interest work interest is only applied to your initial investment so for the end of each year, you will be getting $350. So the same thing will be applied at the end of year two. You'll be getting the same $350. Simple interest at the end of year three will also be $350, all right? So therefore, in order to obtain the amount of interest that we'll get after the three years, we can simply add the interest that would have gotten in year one to the interest that would have obtained in year two, along with the interest that would have gotten in year three as well, all right? So that requires us to add 350 three times, which is the same thing as multiplying three times 350, all right? So remember multiplication is just repeated addition. So we can just multiply three times 350 and three times 350 will give us $1,050. All right, so our total simple interest that would have gotten over the three year period would have been $1,050. And this is basically how simple interest work. So if you want to invest money, it might not be a good option to choose a simple interest route. It's best to invest that money on a compound interest rate, all right? And we'll explain how that works in another video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell to be notified whenever we post new videos. As always, thanks for watching.